buddies, it's your girl like Christine, and today we're checking out Passport Part 2 by Domix. We did check out the first one, um, and I never, I, like, I just never came back. I want to see what happened. I want to know what happened. What's the conclusion of the story? How did this passport thing go? Because I know it was a long, trying to get the express passport, all that stuff last time. Let's see what happens this time. Links down below to become a member or patron to support the channel and to be a part of our behind the scenes live streams. Where you get to react along with me and even choose some of the things I react to. So let's get started. Hi, I'd like time, an appointment to renew my passport. I'm traveling on this date and I have my proof of travel. Please help me. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired, please. Yeah, it's okay. a long process. And what province do you live in, Dayo? Ontario. Ontario? Oh, according to our system, passport cute. service location in your area are allowing walk-ins. Starting on the 21st, that's coming up in two days, so you won't need an appointment, Dayo. Oh. Oh, okay. okay, well, just could you Dayo. confirm the location for me? Because mm -hmm. I went to one the other week where they couldn't help me, and the other one I see here definitely says it's still appointment only. Oh, okay. weird. It should update in a few days, so don't worry. You should be able to walk in on the 21st dial. No, no. Okay, I guess I have no choice but to believe you, that civil worker of the government. The so case. I go there I on the 21st. First thing in the morning again to try and beat the line, mm -hmm. of which there wasn't one, okay. really. I joined right. about 10, 15 people, and within a few minutes of waiting, a guard approaches the people in line to make sure mm. they have their documents ready. When he okay. gets to me, he asks if I have an appointment, and immediately I confirm that I have been lied to. I was told they allow walk-ins starting today. Mm -hmm. No, sir, that's not until April 4th. April what? I apologize yeah, for shooting the messenger, but I was the... very upset. I yeah, argued yeah. with him a little bit and kind of made a scene. It just oh, didn't dear. feel Did like anyone goodness. could be held accountable for the misinformation right. they Talking say. Out of their butt. And I was convinced mm -hmm. that there's an extreme lack of communication and continuity yeah, it's wild. within the Why? system. She just if made what you he an said was true, then I'd be trying to renew my passport with about a week left until my travel date. I mm -hmm. was starting to lose hope, and I was getting really tired of giving I, bad news to yeah, Stella yeah. every time I gave an update. I apply uh, for another callback in hopes to get an appointment before the 4th, because I was getting real tired of wasting my time. It's wild of you it having took over to a week for them to get back to me naturally, back. and the agent confirmed that walk-ins were indeed starting on the 4th. No, and they couldn't no. give out appointments anymore, regardless of how loudly I cried. Oh I complained about the other agent telling me the wrong information, but mm -hmm. that was that. There was no point. I had no choice but to mm. wait another week, just so I could wait in line again. I wasn't able Please to go on the 4th, so I decided to go the day after on the Tuesday. Okay. I get there mm -hmm. when they're supposed to open. So the service center is actually located within a mall building okay. and there are hundreds of people wrapped around the outside oh no oh my god here we go oh god. no it was another cold day but this time i dressed warmer yeah nice. you're like you you set up but i wasn't ready for the rain oh Not no nice. i think it was, was about nice. two hours in when they had people mm -hmm. come out and start handing out tickets much okay. like what the other location did in order to cut off the line they got okay. to about I don't know, 20 people ahead of me when they stopped oh, and told no. the rest of us to go home. A horde oh, of goodness. people formed around the messenger asking oh, questions, pleading desperately to let them right. in. This me, is a being among thing. them, asked if there was really nothing that could be done to help us. Oh, she good. simply like said, I try again tomorrow off. and arrive even earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just sit down right here for a few minutes and cry. In I hindsight, know. I probably should have just I started would. camping out from then and hope I'd be the first one in line the next day. But I was very tired. Right, Tomorrow I wish I understand. rolls in and I head back to the passport center again. How early Two did hours you before they open. Two hours. Upon entering the parking lot, I nearly shit my pants when I saw that the line was even longer than yesterday. Two but hours But upon closer earlier? inspection, people were just more spread out because many of them look like they've been camping there for hours. Literally, oh people had tents. Really? So I joined the to line, get their hoping this it'll be the wild. last time I do. Two hours pass, and they open the doors. Okay. The line compresses to half of what it was. 
That's Shortly good, after, good. a worker comes out to ensure people have their documents. And mm -hmm. of course, many didn't. And the line shrinks a few percent more. Oh, okay. Now, that's good. That's good. I wasn't expecting to form bonds that day, but I came to learn mm -hmm. a lot about my brothers and sisters in, in line. Arms? That's but hilarious. I guess that's natural when you wait in line together mm -hmm. for eight hours. Oh. Yes, I lined up at around 6.30 a.m. and I got uh -huh. to the front at about 3 p.m. The people what? behind me became like best friends because they found out they were both truckers and shared a lot what? of their stories from being on the so road. Eight? The woman in front of Is me kindly offered her concert? lawn chair every now and then to those around her. One of the guy's girlfriend came by for a supply drop of food, but mm -hmm. actually brought like 10 extra burgers for McDonald's oh, to hand out. Good. Some dude that's would nice. walk up and down the line and offered biscuits and cookies, which I respectfully declined because that's a lot of mm -hmm. strangers' hands reaching right, in that box. Right. Right. One yep, woman yep, kind yep. of appointed herself to be our information scout and would walk mm -hmm. up to the front every now and then to count how many people were ahead of us and would then report back wow. with a calculation of how much longer we'd have to wait but mm. also had a separate calculation for how much longer it was to even enter the building and escape the cold oh it was my sick. goodness i mean i hated it overall like we all did but it was Hopefully entertaining you did get sometimes. in there at one point they started handing out the cutoff tickets again okay. and i exhaled <laughs> the deepest sigh of relief in my life when i received one that's and good, if I that's knew good. it would have been that's an good, eight hour good. wait, I could have honestly just left, like gone home, taken a nap, and then came back because oh, I mean, it the tickets been... have numbers on them. But that's I couldn't true. do my passport homies dirty like that. We stand no, no, in there's... solidarity. <laughs> Eventually, some people <laughs> okay. would exit the building having finished P -unit, their passport application. Unit. And people would ask how long they waited. <laughs> Apparently, most of the people at the front have been in line since 5 a.m. And the first person camp the night since 3 a.m. Oh my god! When I got gosh. to the front, the process was relatively swift. They, they took my documents, and when I asked if it was possible to do the two-day turnaround, they said no, only if you're traveling within two days. And then oh told me goodness. I could pick up my new passport next Tuesday, the day before my flight to Europe. Oh so that my was gosh. it, a whole last month of trying to renew my passport, I'm and it definitely for you. didn't need to be that clutch if the system hadn't failed me multiple times. Mm -hmm. But I guess I am to blame for putting myself in this situation in the first place and not renewing months ahead of time. When I went mm. to pick it up the next week, there was still a massive line, and while it was haunting to look at, but you're just I'm glad I won't up. ever have to do it again oh, Okay, good. for another GG. 10 years. But wait! That's it's true. not done. Why what? would it be? Of course I had more passport problems afterwards. Oh, Yay, gosh. part three. The nightmare continues. I'm frustrated for him. It sucks that he went through this situation. I know what it's like when you, like, get, it, like, the aspects of trying to get it last minute and the rushing. But when I got to the place, well, me and my husband, when we got to the place, for us, we did wait a very, very long time. But when the lady saw us and we drove to one place uh, to get the, um, cause we had to drive to a courthouse cause she had to file some things, take our pictures, all this stuff. We had to drive to the courthouse to get, you know, one part done, then drive back to turn it back in. And it was a long process that day, but it was like, once we got to the building, it, we were done. It was good. We were set. We just did a little drive back and forth and we called it a day and it was good. And we got our passports in time for the trip that we were taking. Um, but it is frustrating when you have those situations when it's like a last minute thing. And in order to expedite it, you have to have proof of a trip. And when somebody else is planning the trip, they have to purchase the trip before you can get the passport, but not with a 100% guarantee that you'll have the passport in time for the trip. And they, if they don't have insurance on the trip, then they lose that money. And it, if it's over like overseas trip, that ish is definitely looking at least possibly a K, at least possibly, um, depending on where you're going, you know, some places might be cheaper, but you could run into a K. So that is wild. I'm glad he was able to get his situation figured out and have his passport and get everything he needed to get done. If you don't have your passport, maybe start getting it together now. Even if you don't think you're going to go anywhere any now, anytime soon, that way you have it ready. Because in the long run, I think on a regular basis, it could take like a few months. But if it's expedited, it's us. It is a headache. And if you're in Canada and you want, you see you see this video, 
Get your passport now, even if you don't think you'll ever go anywhere, because you never know when you're going to need it. And last minute in Canada seems to be even worse. So just be prepared. OK, be prepared. I love you guys, as always. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and turn on the notification bell. Boop, boop, so you know when I post. Until next time, buddies. Toodles.